Welcome back to the Midwest Sports Show. We're like ESPN late night. This is, uh, well, I, <laughs> Gene, this is uh, late night <laughs> with the uh, Midwest Sports Show. Anybody, I know my mom's not awake. Uh, she'll have to watch it tomorrow. Hello, Mom. I talked to her today, anyway. Hey, Tony Orlando was just there, and she told me he said he loved the view. So you're welcome back anytime, Tony. Well, what else is going to say? I don't know. I think I, they, I got terrible room service. No, you know when the, those performers, I I think they lie a lot when they say <laughs> they. But I think he meant it. And Willie Nelson said the same thing. How much he loved Dubuque last year, and I think he meant it too. So there. Yeah. Oh That's yeah, I, I'm sure 100. percent Yeah. 100. percent At least he got the name of our town right. Yeah, Dubuque. I love Dubuque. <laughs> the, yeah. Dubuque. Oh Dubuque. Nah, no, no. no. Wayne, it is, it's the Buke. Yeah, okay. Uh, but you probably know yeah. French, right? Mm-hmm. All right, well, uh, Gene, this is the uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Uh, my name is Chris Stotts, and then that's Gene Steichen. Wearing my Cubs uh, World Series because it seems like we're getting farther and farther away. So, Well, we are going to talk about the Chicago mm-hmm. Cubs uh, later in the show. We have uh, a lot of nice topics, Gene, including yeah. the Astros cheating. They are. Have okay. you heard about this, Gene? I, I'm, I am. I, oh, sorry. I could not be more against the Astros. I think just like if the Black Sox got banned from baseball, I think they should have to vacate their title. Yeah. Give not it, that it goes to the Dodgers, but just vacate it. Well, give it to the Brewers. How about that? Oh, we Can we all Brewers? agree on that? Yeah, I'd give it to the Brewers. But All um, right. Well, we'll talk about that uh, later on the show. Okay. And uh, we're going to talk about football. Mm. And uh, Gene, do you want it before we do that? Uh, let's clean. Oh. Let's clear some house Iowa work won. here. We beat Minnesota. Is that what you're talking about? I, I mean, I was just going to say, like, say some Iowa news. Oh yeah. Okay. First up, West Dubuque, this town, uh, the farm, uh, all these farm kids. So Dubuque and then West Dubuque. It's a high school. They're in the state championship game this week. So good job, West Dubuque Bobcats. And Iowa beat undefeated Minnesota. Minnesota hadn't been 9-0 since, like, 1906, and you played for the bronze pig, and we, we beat them. So I was rolling. You got and that pig? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He So it used to be a live pig, Floyd or Rosedale, and then he you know, pigs only live so long, so now it's a bronze pig. And then uh, also Wisconsin beat Nebraska, so that was good. good All right, so is game. Iowa undefeated now? No, they're 7-3. Oh, okay. And we All play right. Illinois this week. But you slayed the des, uh, the yes. dastardly yeah. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota golfers. Put yeah. those boys back in their place. Uh, not last week, Minnesota is all celebrating because they beat Penn State. This week, uh, not so fast there, Minnesota. Uh, but listen, by the way, Penn State ain't exactly uh, LSU. <laughs> no, they're like, pretty good. They're Penn good, State but... hasn't been like a powerhouse since, what, the 80s? Uh, no, they've had, no. I mean, they've been uh, great since the 80s, uh, right? No, they've had some good teams. They they have. Oh yeah, Le- yeah, because of Larry Johnson. How did that turn no, out, Gene? No. Jesus. Jesus. Saquon Barkley was there. <laughs> you don't know your good, Penn State. Good Lord, uh, uh, Larry Johnson, uh, yeah. Joe Joe Pa, yeah. uh, yeah. Saduski. Any other uh, <laughs> a step, uh, think, esteemed alumni? I think Sandusky. I think he got hit with some more charges. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean. What the hell is this guy? <laughs> Even behind bars, he can't hey, stay out of you, trouble. You got, hey, who is? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, who is Penn State? Sandusky. Yeah. All right, well, Gene, but let's. Uh, anyway, Iowa. Uh, good right, there good you go. job, Hawkeyes. There you go. Taking out the Gophers. Yeah. All right, like a regular Bill Murray. It was exciting. Kattishak. It was exciting. It was a good game, too. Yeah, I, I, I we won by four points. So All right. Good. There you go. Then I'll watch a second college football, Gene. Oh, okay. Well, Why, perfect. Gene? Oh, because there's real drama right, going right, on, right, right, in the uh, sports world. And uh, Gene, I had to, uh, you know, digest all of the. Uh, by the way, uh, Bill Simmons on his podcast saying like, uh, "Yeah, we're not going to talk about these uh, incidents because everyone else is ta- like, well, uh, aren't you paid to talk about your opinions? Yeah, talk Bill? about stuff. You and cousin Sal, I haven't listened to their podcast yet. Right. Well, yeah. Well, Gene, uh, were you watching the game? Yes, I was. The Cleveland I, game. I did fall asleep. Oh, wait. Cleveland-Pittsburgh game. I think I missed the end of it, but I was watching it. 
Oh yeah, I I so, didn't see it when it happened. That's I was crazy. I was playing a video game, Gene. Oh, okay. Because it was a pretty dull game, and what it was like, it was like literally like the second to last play, right? So the game was yeah, almost over. Yeah, thirty seconds. Yeah. And uh, I was just blowing people away in Battlefield Five, you know, just right. kill, killing people. You Good know? job. And then I, uh, you know, I look over, mm-hmm. and uh, I see this kind of this like half speed replay of uh, you know Mason uh, Rudolph and. Uh, What's this guy's name? Miles Garrett. Yeah. Kind of tussling on the ground. Right. And then he gets up, grabs dude's face mask. Miles yeah. Garrett grabs Mason Rudolph's face mask. Right. Does not let go. He does not. Does not. I thought he was gonna just, you know, pull his face yeah. mask, Some wrench his neck a little there. bit, but uh, yeah. did not uh, did not let go. Brought him up, stood him up. Oh my god. Like a like a rag doll. Yeah. Strong man. He's very strong. Strong man. I mean, he was the top pick in the draft, I think, two years ago. From he Ohio State, the, right? Was no, he? he's from, uh, I don't know where he's from. I'm going to say Alabama or somewhere, but I'm not sure. So, somewhere. All right, Stat Boy? Yeah. We're Stat Boy. <laughs> I, I know. But he was, a, he's a, yeah, he's very strong, and he could just rip his head off anyway. Uh, Well, he ripped off the helmet. Oh, my God. From dude's face. Yeah. Probably not the best feeling. In the world, to have the helmet ripped off. Right. They're tight. And then uh, <laughs> Mason Rudolph. By the way, he all started. Mason Rudolph started it. Well, okay. Uh, right. Miles Garrett kind of uh, had a late tackle, yeah. kind of brought him down, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was a little questionable. And apparently, uh, he may have uh, need Miles Garrett in the groin. Right. So we're hearing this now. Yeah. And then uh, he tries to pull off uh, Miles Garrett's helmet off. Not really sure what that was, but, like, what are you trying to accomplish there? You know? Right. Just trying to hurt him, pretty yeah. much. Why not find him? Anyways, Miles Garrett goes berserk, pulls off the helmet. Uh, Mason Rudolph is still hot, goes after him continuously. Miles Garrett lifts the helmet over his head and slams it down on the Mason Rudolph's head. Yeah, that's where. And it was a solid hit. It was. That's it was... where he lost the public, for sure. If he, yep. if he wouldn't have connected, it would have been like, oh, you shouldn't do that. But, yeah, that's not good. And uh, not, and then the Cleveland Browns go to – I'm sorry, the Steelers go to his defense, knock it – like two guys knock him down. I think, was it Pouncey? Yeah. Start kicking him in the head awesome. like old school, uh, you know, like street fight. That was great. You Love know, the, that. The, the Sharks versus the Jets. Yeah, and then Pouncey gets suspended. We shouldn't be – he uh, – wow. Uh, Mason Rudolph should pay his fine. Well, it's three game checks. That's going to be a lot. I'm just fun. like, holy! It, it like it literally looked unreal. Yeah. Like it like right. how like how is this? You know, people say how is this happening? Yeah. How is this happening? Mm-mm. Dude hits another guy <laughs> with this helmet, karate style. Yeah. Not good. So uh, I mean, obviously he's going to be suspended for the rest of the season. I mean, I, I you know he'll get suspended, suspended him the rest of the season, too. find him and, a million and, bucks, and uh, well, he lost six game play. checks. That's a lot. I um, mean, he's he lost well over a million. Just well, game I mean, but he could have killed you know, dude. Yeah, you know? yeah, that would have been it. Would have been worse if he would have been in jail next to uh, uh what's his or Larry Johnson. <laughs> there you go. That's a callback. <laughs> the One, the last time Larry Johnson's had a callback. Oh my gosh. I think he's a free man. Now. Since it was uh, inmate, no, no, no. But they said inmate five six and nine name. Yeah. Two three. I say f- inmate five six. All right. So tough time. not. Uh, <laughs> I mean, is this good or bad for the NFL? Gene? It's bad. It's bad. It's I mean, bad. definitely was like the top story for like it, two days. It's bad huh? because they want Cleveland. They don't want to suspend a star player. That the future of the league, but man, that's bad. He see, uh, he he meets with the commissioner uh, this week, so he better bring. He's gonna his plead own. his case. Oh my gosh, he better whatever apology he, he better memorize that thing. Hey, start like that. Have hey. someone else write it, and then and then uh, yeah. Just be like Mr. Goodell. Oh, don't call him a bitch like Perfect did <laughs> yesterday. That's no way. He's never getting Or A.B. Well, Gene, uh, Antonio Brown is his lawyer, so yeah. uh, I don't know how well this is going to go. Antonio Brown and uh, Montez Perfect, <laughs> don't take their advice because they're never – neither of them are winning their way into the heart. Yeah, of well, them. I'm sure Montez Perfect has a uh, – uh, he's an artisan. He's a trade He's a trade he skill called, uh, you can he, fall back on. He called uh, – yeah, the commissioner a bitch yesterday. That's a bad word. Mm. Yeah. 
I, I, yeah, I'm sure you. Uh, he's probably. I mean, he's probably got millions of dollars, obviously. But uh, I don't think so. He's been suspended so much. <laughs> no, true. I don't think that's so. That's a good point. Burfecht's gonna be broke. AB's gonna be broke too. So. All right. So, Gene, what do you think? Uh, any more? Uh, any yeah. more suspensions beyond this season? Yeah. yeah, I think he'll get a couple next year too, at least. Maybe but four. So, four yeah, next maybe, year. Maybe and then maybe they'll reduce it. But yeah, you'll probably get some next year too. All right. Hmm. Well, Gene, we're going to start off with uh, Denver versus uh, Minnesota. Okay. And a little news uh, before the game, Gene. In an interview with Vikings legend Brett Favre on Sirius wow, XM NFL legend. radio, mm-hmm. Cousins, Kirk Cousins, was interviewed. Uh, they talked about what a quote-unquote great organization the Vikings were, is. Mm. Uh, I think that's where it's absolutely. I think that's where it starts to have a chance as a quarterback to win those big game. It starts with a great ownership, great management, people bringing in the right people around you so you can win those big games. Well, first of all, what big games? <laughs> what big game have you won? Oh yeah, yeah. Our fan, the Minnesota Miracle was Case Keenum. Yeah, they've been to four Super Bowls. I believe it is four. <laughs> the seventies. Yeah, Trent. Maybe it's only three, but they have never won. Fred Tarkenton took him to a our couple. F- I think Joe Cap took him to one in the early 70s. Our fans are outstanding. Our new stadium is outstanding. I just feel very privileged as a quarterback. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I joke with everybody that, guys, we've got to win because I like it here. I like to stay. Mm. That's right, Gene. It's uh, it's all on uh, Brett Favre's new show, uh, Favre and Judas. <laughs> I, I wasn't aware he had a new Quite show. a pairing. Yeah. Quite a little controversial. Right. A little controversial, but uh, very dynamic. Yeah. I wasn't aware of the new show. Okay. Catchy title, though. Favre and Judas. Gene. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, well, hey, Brett, hey, Brett, what about Lambeau Field, huh? Mm. You, you you don't, you can't say good things they, about Lambeau Field? If they ever tried to retire his number there or do anything, he should turn them down. He shouldn't even visit Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, Gene, uh, Minnesota is the perfect place for a guy named Kirk. Mm. Because there you go. Well, his name's Kirk. Oh, yes. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the game, uh, Denver yeah. got up quick, 20 points. It looked like the Vikings were not going to blow it again. Uh, but uh, they fought back, and they ended up winning the game, even though Denver had plenty of chances. Uh, to get more points, they yeah. couldn't even score from the. I think they're from at the six, and they couldn't score. Yeah, so. I didn't see the end. Of, well, actually, I didn't see any. Uh, let me see. I okay. I officially didn't see any of the game. <coughs> yeah. Okay. But uh, good for the. Well, no, not good. Well, good for the Vikings. But nice comeback. Yeah, that that could. But they're gonna be tough because Packers. Yeah, look out. Feels like half these teams. Feels like half these teams don't play until the second half. But like yeah. they're just getting warmed up or something. The, the Lions are no good now, and neither are the Bears. But man, Vikings, Vikings and the Packer. All right, well, Gene, yeah. uh, the big game this week. Oh my gosh! Sunday night football, Gene. Yeah. What why did, why did they flex this game out of this goddamn I, spot? I think I think because they thought they had two big markets, and they can only flex so many games. Okay. And then I was reading today. I didn't really. I just saw the headline that the 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 ratings were terrible. Really? I mean, that's, that's what you, you get when two bad teams. I I don't know. Maybe I mean, this, I thought you know, when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a fun matchup. Yeah, this yeah, is gonna be fun. Yeah. Then after the first quarter, people are like, oh my gosh, these teams do suck. Like we and actually have to watch these guys. There were a lot of Bear fans though. I, I, yeah, I, definitely, I only, like, I'd say, like, 70% for sure. Yeah, I only saw a little bit of it because I went to the Donna Summer musical last night, which was fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Hot ticket. Hot yeah. Ticket. Oh, that was great. Those uh, tickets were way more expensive than the Bear Rams tickets. So, when I checked, and this was a couple hours before the game, I right. think it was an hour before the game, the right. game lowest ticket was $70 yeah, in the morning to a professional were, football I, game. In the morning, they were 50 Good I guess, Lord. And Lord. I was reading today that the Redskins tickets, you can get good seats for $10. I mean, good seats. They, I, that's wow. one of those places they can't give them away. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Gosh, it's just depressing when teams go bad for so well, long. Gene, and then 70, $70 a ticket? Uh, LA's got Trubisky fever, Gene. 
There Can you feel lot, it? It's in the air. What would they have done without all the Bear fans? Because there are a lot of Bear fans that flew out for the game. And, wow, they got treated. Great weekend, great weather. Oh, unfortunately, the team blows. And they're they're bad. I So I saw the first quarter. That's about it. Uh, well, Gene, I took some notes on okay. the broadcast. Yeah. Uh, they, you know what they got? You know, every game they have to like create some sort of uh, opening narration, right? Setting the stage, you know, telling the story. Yeah. Jerry Piven. Jerry Piven did this week's. Jeremy Piven. Jeremy Piven, Gene. Yeah, entourage, old school. Yep. Mm. Uh, Gene, do we need these monologues? Gene? No, we don't. No. But what did he say? Did, was there anything? I don't remember. Oh, okay. But, Gene, let me ask you this. What are the odds that Jeremy Piven is Mitch Trubisky's favorite actor? <laughs> is it better than even? I guess so. Well, Jeremy Piven's a Chicago guy, so, yeah. Uh, we can't get Vince Vaughn to do this? Oh, yeah. Vince Vaughn or Jeff Garland. He's a big Bears fan. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, again, it's one of these games where Mitch Trubisky, I mean, the first couple of drives, he made, you know, he made some bad passes, but he also made some good passes. Yeah, he was and okay. And the Bears missed two, the first two field goals. Well, and they, the, the Rams turned it over twice. And, uh, yeah, the Bears missed two field goals. And then they had fourth down, were 48-yard field goal, and they, they had fourth and nine. But they went for it because they didn't want to. And the guy there. dropped the pass. The yeah. Tr- pass drop. But they, they're they terrible. Oh. And then, the, you know, the, 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 the early running plays were just like, oh, let's just run it up the middle. Which, by the way, is like uh, full of uh, Los Angeles defenders. Yeah, it was very, uh, not really very, you know, creative I mean, offense. Nagy, their coach, he's getting a lot of grief, deservedly so. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it's depressing. I like the Bears. I mean, I want them to be good, but this is ridiculous. How are they gonna? They play the Lions on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Woo! <laughs> All right, Trubisky, uh, he did end up throwing a TD, which was a uh, – it looked good just because yeah, it was kind of yeah, behind the, the guy yeah, and he made a great made a catch. Play. I saw that. Uh, but it probably should have been intercepted. Right. Uh, they got the ball back pretty quick because of their defense. Uh, horrible option, performed a horrible option. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. So bad that Chris uh, Collinsworth called it out. I, I heard that. Uh, had a good punt. Then they, uh, yeah, have a good punt, get the Rams – you know, pin the Rams back. The Bears player, the shotgunner, he takes off his helmet yeah, after the tackle. Yeah, who's Cordero? Like 84 yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah. Gene, who does this guy think he is? Mason <laughs> Rudolph? <laughs> wow. Didn't see that one coming. Yep. Yeah, the 15-yard penalty. And then, Oh, my God. And then if you saw the end there, Mitch Trubisky is pulled. That's for the last thing, series that they're they're trying to sell. Matt Nagy is trying to sell this story that uh, he wasn't pulled. So they had no idea in the uh, in the booth. Yeah. Last night. And uh, there was no word from PR. But then uh, right before the game ended or maybe at right at when the game did end, they said it was uh, his hip, a hip problem. Well, B- BS, the BS meter. And I, I listen to Chicago reporters interview Nagy. BS is BS meters way high. He, it's just well, they're saying terrible. he got need in the back. That happened in the second quarter. Yeah, he said he was uh, fighting with pain. I mean, he he was not getting treatment. He didn't get ice on it, right? Right, and they, and they didn't go into the tent. I it was just it was just bogus. It's bogus. The whole thing's a disaster. Wow, talk about it. Yeah, they, don't they, don't you like get your ribs checked or yeah, something? Yeah, I mean they they were talking Super Bowl stuff. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. So, what do you think it was? So, Gene, this is my no. He got benched. This is my uh, oh, idea okay. here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then Chase Daniel comes in. Well, he sucks too. He just absolutely uh, takes a dookie in the bed. <laughs> That's why he's not a straight. He ran. Yeah. God, yeah. He ran. He 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 ran, and he didn't go out of bounds. He like he slid. And the clock kept on going, and there was, like, uh, less than two minutes or something like that. Yeah. Like, I don't know what this guy was doing. He's Listen, man. I thought Chase Daniels just had to get a, get a chance. I mean, I know he sucks, but it's he's, like, wow. He's been in the league but 11 years and never started. However, yeah. how are you going to ask a guy just, hey, uh, here's a two-minute drill, right, you know? Right, Yeah. Uh, scores, like, two touchdowns, two scores. Yeah. You're not warmed up. Well, so and, I, then, and then the reporter said to Nagy, nobody saw he, Chase Daniels warming up. He didn't even know he was going to the game. Nagy goes, oh, he was warming up the whole time. 
Well, there are reporters there that the, <laughs> the camera crew. Nobody. Uh, I'm assuming there's videotape of the sideline, the, the all 22. Yeah, I mean, these guys are just lying. They're lying. So my theory is he just threw him in there just to show everyone that he would he sucks. Yeah. And then so uh, he can uh, restart oh, that, uh, Nagy. Yeah, I get or, I'm sorry, restart uh, Trubisky. Oh, they're doomed. Well, they they don't play till. Uh, I don't know if they have a game. Oh, they play the Giants Sunday, so maybe they'll win that one. Jesus. Yeah. What if they don't? So, Gene, you're listening to uh, Chicago radio. Yeah, is they're upset. Yeah, let's say it's in Chicago. So, how about well, this is going to be the next story, Gene? Why don't the Bears take pick up Kaepernick? I don't. I, Was that discussed they, at all? The Bears didn't. Even, they, the 25 teams that originally were going to go see Kaepernick, they weren't one of them. I don't know. Maybe Mitch is too fragile. I yeah. <laughs> he sucks. What we you trying oh, to help I his know, ego? I know. Um, I I I don't know much about. I uh, I don't know. I saw Kaepernick's video, but who knows? <laughs> Gene, you're not a, you're not a GM scout, Gene, or a no, scout. No, I know, whatever, but, but I, I the whole but thing did, is was this so, even broached on no. the uh, Chicago yeah, radio? Yeah, they brought it up, but uh, the Bears they they didn't send anybody to even look at him. I know, but what what was the audience reaction? Were people saying well, yes, no? Well, a lot of no? people said, yeah, go look at him. I mean, th- yeah, th- there's not a Mitch Trubisky fan club at all in Chicago. So people so. are freaking out. Yes, absolutely panicked, dis- disgusted, disappointed. Yeah. All right, well, let's just talk about uh, Kaepernick really was, quick. That so. was a disaster, too. Did you see it? What was so, he doing? Well, Gene, see, you, you, you're stuck in this uh, NFL uh, well, propaganda machine no, here. No, no, no. It's not propaganda. I'm just saying. I mean, yeah. So this is so this is, so this is a story. There was a very quick and brief uh, announcement that Colin, the NFL, was hosting a workout yeah. for Colin Kaepernick uh, in Atlanta, and all teams were invited. They're going to pr- be provided with videotape afterwards. Um, so, and apparently they only told Kaepernick about this two hours beforehand and gave him two hours to, uh, sign off on yeah, it. Yeah, on Tuesday they told him. So, they do this, and, uh, Kaepernick's gonna bring his own guys and blah, blah, blah. So, Kaepernick gets there, and... That's the, where the problem is. And then are. the NFL shows him a contract, not a contract, but a waiver form, which is basically saying, uh, you know, this is a uh, non-guarantee of employment. Uh, you know, if you get hurt, we're, we're not, uh, you know, responsible, blah, blah, blah. We, you know, this is standard stuff uh, for NFL waivers for practices and uh, workouts and all this stuff. But there was an addendum or additional language. Uh, and, Gene, I'm not a lawyer. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. But saying that uh, there's a clause in there uh, saying indirect or direct or indirect cause of employment or something like that, basically uh, absolving the NFL of any further collusion cases. Mm. That's what they would have you think, Kaepernick's team. The NFL <laughs> said there's a standard contract. Well, there's people have seen. Well, there's, there's standard saying, contracts available, I, and it Hugh, doesn't match Hugh up. Jackson was there to. He work with Kaepernick. He was there to get a paycheck. Yeah, right? but, but then then Kaepernick just pulled a fast one and moved. Well, he was like, <laughs> I'm, okay. Jackson didn't stick Clearly, around. the NFL is not picking him up. There are no teams. I mean, again, look at Mitch well, Trubisky. They, definitely after what he did Saturday. I don't know. This is a yeah. But I mean, if he's going to sue him again, and he's going to get a hundred million dollars next time. I don't think so. He didn't get that much the first time. Well, no, because now there is – because he basically in the last settlement has said that, uh, you know, there's no prejudice, blah, blah, blah. So you think an NFL team should pick him up, right? And he's definitely better than uh, Driscoll, Scott Driscoll <laughs> from the Lions. Yeah, and he's Mr. better Bisky. than a lot of guys, of course. Jesus Christ, yeah. Mr. Bisky is getting starts. And Kaepernick? I know. For what I reason? Know. What, because he uh, – I don't know. He, you know, he kneeled down for a flag. He wore a Fidel Castro shirt <laughs> in Miami. That's I don't know. He just, all right. You know, whatever. So you don't want, you don't want you don't want him on the Bears. You no, don't want the Bears I, mean, I take Jeez. anybody. Oh no, no, Jeez. they got a clean house. Yeah, bring him hey, in. How about Charles Manson? Would you have him? Yes, I say get rid of everybody the Bears have and bring in Kaepernick. Yes, uh, I would take him. Sure. Okay. All right.
All right, and then, Gene, uh, the Green Bay-San Francisco game was flexed to Sunday That's night. The awesome. shocking thing is this was not the Sunday night game in the first place. Mm. Was it another Bears-Giants uh, game, uh, and they flex them out? I think it was uh, – yeah, I don't know. Who knows? I think it was an Eagles game, actually. But uh, blah, 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 they flexed it. Uh, and by the way, Gene, remember last week we were talking about that Carolina player who uh, tackled uh, Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. Well, I, I don't even remember that guy's name, Gene. I'm sure you don't either. I do not. Tell you what, uh, this is why you got that flag, all right? Because people, uh, whatever your name is, people aren't going to, they're not going to flex the game because of your name in the marquee, okay? It's because of Aaron Rodgers, all right? Hey, this is going to be, this is going to be the biggest ratings. I mean, Green Bay, Kansas City earlier was huge, and this is going to be This is going to be a great game. This is going to be such huge ratings for NBC. It will be the opposite of the Bears-Rams. I mean, people <laughs> yeah. actually care They'll about They'll actually deliver. Games. Aaron Rodgers delivers. Geez. Yeah. And it, be I like mean, night and day. Like and watching are, Aaron Rodgers throw passes, it's like night and day. These are two good teams. The Bears and Rams. Although, are Gene, I watched, uh, what's his name, uh, Garoppolo yeah. yesterday. That guy turns the ball over a lot. He does. He does. He's, he's got to work on that. He ain't Tom Brady. Yeah. He ain't Tom Brady. All right. And then, uh, so Matt LaFleur said the team will leave for uh, San Francisco on Saturday mm. for the 49ers game, unlike the last time they went out west. LaFleur said he was told two-hour time distance doesn't affect players as much as going west, and also the experience in L.A. played with it. Ooh. Well, yeah. uh, Matt, I think it might be okay. There's not a whole lot to do in Santa Clara. I know. All right. People go, we're going to San Francisco. Uh, no, you're going 40 miles south to a yeah. – yeah, Santa Clara is nice. You ain't way. anywhere close to the Yeah, you're not going to see the Bay Bridge. Hey, if you want to vacuum a office building, by all means, <laughs> go for it. Yeah. Oh, it's such a shame that the 49ers don't play in San Francisco. They Did you ever down. go to Candlestick Park? Yes, I went. Oh, yeah? I saw them play the Vikings there. Yeah. Okay. In there. Was hey, it a hey. shithole, like everyone it says? Was. Or? It was. Wow. But, I mean, at least it's a good location. They should have just stayed in Candlestick till they, they figured just, something out. Why didn't they just bulldoze it down and then I don't uh, know. I don't know. They, they, they made a mistake. It's probably because it's a public park, I'm guessing, right? I'm not sure. I mean, figure it out. Yeah, just <laughs> figure it out. All right, Gene, we're going to go to baseball real quick. Now, big scandal. Ba- ban them. That's the it. The Astros. I I, I hope the Cubs would never do anything like this. So here's the scandal. Uh, apparently, well, my, here is the story. Mike Fires, former Brewer, by the way, oh, who now pitches for the A's, told the website, uh, The Athletic, that he warned teammates with the Detroit Tigers and A's that Astro hitters had used a video piped into a monitor near the dugout to decode signs and relay them to hitters during the games. And, Gene, uh, I have uh, photographic evidence. Yes. So those of you who are uh, listening, uh-huh. go uh, go ahead and go on YouTube and uh, oh, search Midwest painting? Sports Show. I have a picture. This is a picture of, uh, like, uh, you know, when they're oh, seeing yeah. a guy walk through the hallway during the regular game. A couple things uh, here. Yeah. We got the, uh, you know, what do you call it? The uh, trash, trash can, can. Yeah. you know? So the story is that uh, people were, like, banging on. The- so there's a video feed of the catcher's signs. And someone inside the clubhouse was watching that video feed and banging on a, uh, what do you call it, a trash can, yeah. whether it was a fastball or a changeup wow. off speed. And uh, so we got the trash can. We got a desk with a laptop. Wow. A laptop. And then you got this kind of towel hanging over something. I know I kind of have a graphic here that you can't yeah. see, but uh, uh, the towel is hanging over something that looks maybe like a video monitor. Or sorry, it could be a video monitor. Just this towel hanging over something for no wow. reason. And uh, there's plenty. If you look up uh, actually John Boy, yeah. if you look up his videos, he's actually uh, reviewed a couple of uh, at-bats with Astros, and you can hear a noise. Man, uh, in the background. This is bad. This is bad. Because the Dodgers lost in seven games. And one of the games they lost was – it's terrible. And then, Man. apparently, there's an email from yeah. one of the yeah. uh, head scouts or the, even the GM, maybe, to all of the scouts in the Astros system. Astro system. Hey, if there's any way you can figure out how to pick up signs, you know, forward to us, you know. It's let me amazing. Let me know. They would go – I mean, it just seems stunning. They would – I don't know. I, oh not my good. Gosh. 
I I would hammer them. I would absolutely hammer them. Take away, okay, the next 10 years you don't get number one pick, and uh, you vacate the World Series title. You can. You nah, your, I can't do that. Cause I don't know. What about the Black Sox scandal? Well, they didn't vacate that title, did they? Uh, they didn't win. They, oh, that's they, right. They, they lost to the Red Sox. Yeah, well, they did. They, who'd they lose to? 2000, it was the no, Reds. Maybe they did. It was the Reds, wasn't it? It was 2000. No, it was, it was 1919. 1918. 1919. 1919. I'm not sure. <laughs> but the guys that did it got kicked. Shoeless Joe Jackson got kicked out of the league forever. Yeah. Until he reappeared in who, hey, who, Who's going to play Altuve, huh? <laughs> I, wouldn't you make him vacate the title? Nah, I think that. I mean, you still, really you, you still got to hit the ball, right? I mean. Yeah, I don't. Mm, this is really tough. Who had but home you, field you, advantage? You, you had uh, Dodgers did. All right, so they didn't, you know, they only had it for three games, right? So Yeah, but one of the games was when they torched you Darvish in Houston. Well, speaking of you Darvish, Gene. Yeah. There was a little uh, Twitter kerfluffle involving you, yeah. Darvish, and He's the uh, Milwaukee hey, Brewers. Darvish, I give him credit. He's pretty outspoken. On so Twitter. there's other allegations going around that there's other teams doing this, including yeah. the Milwaukee Brewers. That one surprised me. Which uh, I don't even need to see any evidence. I know it's not true. Oh, okay. Let's. Right, hey, that. listen, Gene, Ryan Braun doesn't cheat. Oh, okay. He doesn't cheat, Gene. Ryan Braun is the least moral person. And it, uh, I'll tell you what, Gene, is some guy from Chicago going to uh, reveal an email from Ryan Braun talking about the video feed? Is that, uh, is that what's going to happen like last time? Yes. We're all trying to pin it on you, Ryan you Braun. Darvish is on it. Well, uh, there was a clip shared on uh, Twitter, and it was a video of uh, Yelich doing an at-bat. And Yelich's eyes are kind of going back, you know, looking at stuff behind him and all this stuff. And uh, you Darvish uh, steps off the plate, you know, because he uh, didn't know what was going on with the signs or whatever. No, he didn't know if Yelich knew the signs. There's probably some guy on second, something, who knows. And then uh, you Darvish was saying basically, like, yeah, notice his eyes, and that's why he stepped off. And then uh, Yelich replies to that. Wow. And says, uh, you're better than this. No one needs help. Facing you. <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Yeah, that, that's $26 million getting burned on Twitter, Gene. Hey, wait till next year. That'll be a good showdown. Hey, Darvish is a man now. He's going to be our sub pitcher <laughs> next year. All right. Uh, I hope David Ross knows Japanese. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah. Uh, Craig Council got second. He actually got more first place votes, but finished runner up to the Cardinals. Mike Sch- Mike Schlitt. That's, that's, that's amazing. The manager that guy, of the year. Yeah, he manager of the year. In two years, he'll be fired for something. <laughs> I mean, just obscure. Yeah. And then he'll replace Mike Matheny in Kansas City. Seems like uh, a lot of cheating going on when it comes to the Brewers. Yeah, against I, the Brewers, I yeah, should say. Yeah, I against don't know where those accusations come from. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the uh, Cubs. We got Cubs news, Gene. It's baseball in uh, oh, November. Oh, nothing but positive news from the Cubs. I am sure. Well, Gene, there's reports out of Chicago. What? The Cubs are clear they will consider trading from their excellent core. Yeah. Bryant, Contreras, yep. Baez, Schwarber, etc. We've had a stable core for five years. We're going to have change, says Cubs yeah. GM Jed Hoyer. Yeah. Well, I mean, all those guys contract are up after the 2021 year, and they can't. I mean, so, uh, yeah, apparently Chris Bryant is a target to get traded, and Wilson Contreras, too. So, well, I, I don't know. Well, Gene, did you, you enjoy it? You can't give them all $300 million. Yes, because we enjoyed won the Enjoyed the past Series. five years? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes, absolutely. I, I can't wait. When the Cubs have a 50-win season, oh and you're God. here saying you're here oh. moping around, that bitching was, about the that record. That was uh, 2013, I think, when they won 60 games. I don't want to go through that it again. But that's why that's why Theo and Jed are doing this. They don't want to. They don't want to have to hit bottom again. They just want to retool. All right. Well, Gene, more uh, news for the Cubs. Good news. I hope. Uh, Joe Ricketts. Owner, part owner of the Cubs? Uh, the dad, father, he owns a company. Or whatever, one of the kids. The, the guy oh, that looks like Ted Cruz. That's on the picture. Oh, T- Tom Rickard. That's his brother. Joe Ricketts. Yeah, he's the. isn't he the governor of Nebraska? Maybe. It's yeah. possible. 
Yeah. Well, uh, he got a shout out by uh, the president, yeah, Donald they're, Trump. They're very tied into the Republican Party. Uh, quote unquote, this is from uh, Twitter. Joe Ricketts, one of our country's most successful businessmen, right, include being the owner of the Chicago Cubs, is just reading a great new book. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Hmm. So true. Much can be learned from Joe. Go get wow. the book. Yeah. Joe Ricketts really has ne- – he's on the board. I mean, the family owns the team, but Tom – the brother – Tom's the one that runs it. Joe's never there. I don't think he's much – Trump ready. loves the Cubs, Gene. Oh, I know. I know he does because the Ricketts family, I, yeah. They are Kiss his afraid. ass? Yeah, and I think they, they give a lot of money to him and stuff, and yeah. Well, Gene, uh, go ahead and get the book after you read the transcript. How about that? <laughs> okay. How about that? <laughs> Good. Uh, Gene, did you? Uh, is it possible that Trump asked uh, Joe Ricketts for dirt on Biden? Yeah. Is that possible? Is that I what's going know. on? Yeah. Oh my gosh! What turmoil? Pro, pro quid pro uh, Joe? Yeah. Saying it ain't so, Joe. Mm. All right. And then Gene, I think uh, we have a new uh, worst day of the week. I think we may turn this into a weekly, All right. uh, weekly uh, segment. Uh, a jury, and Gene, you're going to guess the uh, worst day of the week from the Midwest. A jury has awarded 1.4 million dollars to right, a right. to a Burmese immigrant. Oh, what did they who do? wanted a circumcision, but instead got a vasectomy? <laughs> I no. I, I, <laughs> did he go to a vet? What's <laughs> going on? That I don't. Was this in Iowa? I don't know where it happened. Hey, Gene, gives a, gives a whole new meaning to nip and tuck, okay? <laughs> I think this is Iowa. Is it Iowa? Uh, you are correct. It is Iowa. I'm just saying it. You How did very, you know this? Well, I don't. I just I think it's our turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gene, who did the surgery? Uh, Dr. Vinnie Boombots? <laughs> you know. Yeah. He's a he's a foreskin balls and nose guy, okay? Yeah, Vinny Boombot. Uh, all right, one more for you, Gene. One more yeah, for you. Yeah. By the way, Gene, what what's worse? Uh, having to pull back your foreskin to wash your Jake or having kids? I don't know. Ah, uh, well, I got experience with neither, so. Uh, hey, I I think a lot of dads might say consider yourself lucky. All right. Yeah. A lot uh, of cut dads. I'm sure. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel well, like who, I really missed who, out. Who, who gets a circumcision when they're like 40 years old, too, by the way? Oh, wow. That would. Oh, or 20 or whatever. Oof. Oof. How much do you have to hate your foreskin to be like, take it off? Yeah, take be, it off. That'd be a tough one. That'd be a rough one. Yep. All right. Well, I think uh, I think we learned a lot this week. We did. We did. Oh, the, 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 yeah, so let's go uh, Packers. Going to San Francisco and win. They can win. Are you going to the game, Gene? No, I am not. Um, fun, no. There's a very small chance I will, but probably not. I'm probably uh, not going to. You've been up there for a game, though. Yep, I was up there when they whooped up on uh, Kaepernick. I think that was the game where uh, Clay uh, Matthews said, uh, you, ain't, uh, you ain't Russell Wilson, bro. Oh, wow. I think that was I was there for yeah. that game. Yeah. So Standing room only, so. Mm. All right, well, Gene, um, I think we can uh, end it right there. And uh, so for uh, Gene Steichen, my name is uh, Chris Stotts. This has been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week.